What's up guys? Let me see you And what we have for today is the Mud Razor Back 250. And let's do a review. This Mud Razor Back is priced at 270,000 Philippine pesos. Siya yung pinaka expensive na motorcycle ng mud. And now let's check it out. Unang una pa lang, the looks of it is very eye-catching. It was inspired by uh, multiple vintage bikes and gustong gusto ko talaga yung aluminum brush finish na dito. Mukha siyang ah, baby Akita or small Akita. Palitan nyo lang tong seat niya, gawin yung leather brown. Mukha na siyang Akita. And as we all know, the engine is a Suzuki engine so reliability wise is perfect. And it sounds great and then let's listen to it later. Here in the front it has a halogen headlight and LED turn signals na hindi sila pantay. Di ko alam baka prior to having this lent out to me, baka na crash or something. And here in the front it has a mud guard that I have to say something about or have I'll, I'll tell you guys something about this that they need to improve. Sa likod then it has uh, two LED turning indicators or signal light and uh, LED tail light. So now let's talk about the seat. Seat niya, it's quite comfortable naman. Medyo masikip lang dito, nakakaipit kasi nga siguro dahil sa ride height niya. But in general, if you're already cruising, yeah, it's comfortable and very nimble siya around corners. So may, maybe the height nito, it's not for your average Filipino kasi Mataas siya. I'm 5 foot, ni five foot 9 and tiptoe ako. Nakatiptoe ako dito. Hindi kaya i -flap. The seat height of this is 8 to 8 cm. So medyo mataas siya. And if you're gonna buy this, consider that first. And what else do we have here? Here in front, yung gauge na everything is the same with the previous mod. All mods have the same design. It has a tachometer. Tapos may maliit na screen here. That can na makikita niyo yung speed, fuel gauge, odometer, your gear. So that's basically it. The Mud Razor back is powered by a 250cc four-stroke single cylinder with 12 horsepower and 10 newton meters of torque paired to a five-speed manual transmission. So here are the things that I like and don't like about the Mud Razor back 215. Let's start with the like. Like on the one is the right height. It's very subjective, but for me, I uh, prefer. I like the right height. Niya. Next will be the performance, or next will be the looks. The looks of it is very retro looking, very eye catching. Na unique siya. Hindi mo siya nakikita lagi sa streets. And to pa lang yung aluminum finish niya. It's very pleasing to the eyes, and it's. Hindi mo siya nakikita sa mga typical motorcycles that you see around the city. And then the performance, let's talk about it after we do a test ride around AGC. And now let's go to the dislikes that about this bike. First of all is yung mud guard niya or itong guard sa harap. Sobrang liit niya. When I was cruising around, Binondo, going to Binondo, umuulan siya. Yung tubig or yung putik, tumatasig, nag-shoot up. So what nangyayari? Yung buong helmet ko, basa ng isang line na gano'n ng putik Kasi nga dahil sa, sa guard niya okay, Next, what I don't like is the halogen headlights Yung halogen headlight niya, it's quite dim Hindi siya ganun kalakas nung dumaan ako sa may Ayala Tunnel Madilim siya Kahit naka, yung siguro pag hinay beam mo siya, maliwanag naman siya But in general, medyo it's, it's a bit too dark For uh, night cruising Next Next that I don't like is the side mirrors. Nya, the side mirrors. Nya, it's very low. It's malapit. Since it's low, it's nasa. Halos ka kahit mani mga typical SUVs and pickups. Tumo tama yung side mirrors mo when you're late to the. And let's do a sound check. Alright.
Okay, so now we're on the road. Let's test or let's test the engine. The engine is so big and it's quite fun to go around the city. Very responsive on throttle, yeah. And the ride itself is quite good. So now there's only one thing that bothers me about this bike, which is the side mirrors, yeah. Parang to tatama siya sa mga side mirrors ng other people since mataas siya. See? Tumata. All right. All right. Now the transmission niya smooth siya. Smooth siya from first gear, second gear to whatever gear. It's quite smooth. And yung braking niya, maganda din yung braking niya. As you see there. So, we're now stuck in traffic, so yung ride height niya, as yung makikita nyo, hindi yung flat-footed Medyo mataas lang siya for the average Filipino, I guess I'm 5 foot 9 and yeah, it's quite comfortable naman if you're already cruising Hindi siya mahirap i-maneuver And yeah, let's go The weight itself, pag once you get going, di mo mafe-feel yung weight niya eh I don't know, it's easy to move around so yeah it's easy lang. it's heavy at first when you're not moving but once you get moving you don't feel the weight of the bike so we're turning right here and patasha you can test the power of the engine second gear pa lang siya and mafe-feel nyo na agad yung hatak ng engine na yan. Alright, so now we're on this stretch. Let's test out the engine. Okay, we're just doing some rep matching. And as in makikita nyo, sobrang bilis niya. I'm at fourth gear right now. The right quality, di mo maramdaman ng mga humps kasi nga mataas siya. And sarap siya cruise. As you can see, I'm enjoying myself here. Passing along this stretch somewhere in BGC. Alright, so overall, this bike is good for city driving. And I enjoy every single part of it. And besides rainy days, siguro the mud guard needs to be improved a bit. And yeah, and there's this one time that I was going up the parking lot, and sempre mat galing galing sa ulan, so medyo madulas yung daan. The ABS kicked in, so as in you can feel or you know that you're safe when you're on this bike since may ABS sya. And sana maging standard sa sa all modern bikes right now that even the even the low displacement low displacement bike sana may ABS din kasi nga if you're on the motorcycle safety is number one lagi so this bike is actually good for your daily commutes maganda siya i-araw-araw while going to work or even just going to the gym actually I use this to go to the gym multiple times and maraming nagtatanong sa akin what bike it what bike this is kasi nga yung design pa lang niya maganda and it's very eye-catching it's not something you'll see everyday 